I speak to you in the name of one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So this week I had an appointment in the city. I had to drive into DC, and I always love driving across Memorial Bridge. You have this vast expanse. You get to see the monument stretching out on one side and the Kennedy Center. And then up on the left, if you're, if you're coming from Arlington, you see the National Cathedral. And it's this gorgeous space. And I love driving across the river because the Potomac is always there. It's always flowing. There's occasionally you know, barges and boats on the river, people out having a good day. But this week when I drove across the river, there was something very different. And I didn't want to get in a wreck, so I didn't stare too much. But when I got down to Rock Creek Parkway, I realized that in fact, the river was frozen. It was not moving. That's what was different. And the little waves that usually lap on the bank were frozen in place like these little f bubbles of foam icicles all the way down. There was trash that was frozen, and just stuck, stuck in place. And there was a little hole under the bridge where I was stuck in traffic watching, and there was some, presumably animal, that was coming up for air every, every couple of minutes. It was a very different view than I normally have of the Potomac when I make that drive. And yet, there was something still calming about it, because no matter what's going on in my life, I know that when I drive across that river, it's always going to be there. The water's going to be there. It's not going to be, hopefully, in our lifetime, dried up. And there's something very special about that, because it got me thinking about creation and our creator. And I realized that sometimes our lives can be like this. Our lives can be stuck. We can feel paralyzed or even frozen. And yet God is there, just like that river. God is there. And as you know, the river may have been frozen solid on the top. But there is life, there is movement underneath it. God is still in it, even though on the surface it appears to be stopped, it appears to be hindered. But God is still in it. Now we hear about this God in our psalm this morning, Psalm 139, one of my favorites. Lord, you have searched me out and you have known me. You know my path and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely. This is the God who knew us before we were born, when we were unformed substance. This is the God who knew us. Now in our gospel passage for today, we hear about Nathaniel, who has a similar experience of being known. He appears on the scene and is talking to Philip, who says, come and see. We have found the one that Moses and the prophets told us about. And Nathaniel has never met Jesus. And yet, as Nathanael is walking towards Jesus, Jesus shouts out, Here is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. So Nathanael says, do, do we know each other? How do you know me? I've never met you before. Jesus is Christ. As we learned about a few weeks ago, he is God incarnate. Jesus, the Christ, is the same God we hear about in the psalm. 
the God who knew us when we were unformed substance, who knew us in our mother's womb. This is the same God who revealed himself to Samuel, who kept calling and calling because he knew Samuel, and he knew Samuel would respond. Now there is a lot going on in our world, a whole lot. And it is easy to get distracted. And it can be scary at times. But no matter what is going on, just like that river, no matter what is happening in the world around us, I know that when I drive across that river, if I am upset by what's happening on the streets, in Congress, in the White House, in the schools, on the Metro, or even here in Burke, I know that God has got it, that God is there, that God is present even between, beneath that surface of that frozen river, even when I may feel like I am the only one. God is still there, still present, still moving, still flowing. So friends, on this second Sunday of Epiphany, I invite you to let this be your awakening. Remember that the God in the psalm is the one who knows you and who loves you, who cares for you. That this is the same God that is in Christ, the same God that knew Nathaniel that revealed himself to Samuel. And friends, when we follow this God, amazing things can happen. Amen.